Hi, I'm Risha Lovender, the Scientific Officer for the International Ocean Color Coordinating Group. This is a recap of IOCCG activities for the past year. Notably, in June 2022, Kara Wilson handed over the chair for IOCCG to Shuba Satyendranath. And we do thank Kara for her five years of service, which was extended by the COVID-19 pandemic, and warmly welcome Shuba as our new chair. Other rotations of the membership took place at the annual committee meeting held in person and online at ESA in Frascati, Italy. New members are highlighted in bold. We also welcome the Argentina National Space Activities Commission, CONE, to the IOCCG executive. The committee membership is composed of space agency representatives and scientists from the ocean color community, and they're chosen for their expertise, and this includes their geographic location. One term of service is typically three years. The executive committee provides oversight of IOCCG finances and scientific activities and represents IOCCG at CIOS meetings. One of the main ways the IOCCG keeps in touch with the ocean color community is through community announcements on our mailing list and our quarterly IOCCG news bulletin. The bulletins include the latest news from IOCCG, the ocean color community, and the IOCCG sponsoring agencies, as well as employment and funding opportunities, and it usually highlights new publications. In 2021, we introduced a Twitter feed that is steadily growing in followers. The social media feed echoes employment opportunities posted on the IOCCG website, as well as items from the quarterly news bulletin and other community announcements. One major focus of the IOCCG is the specialized scientific working groups that investigate various aspects of ocean color science, uh, including technology and its applications. They generally summarize their findings in a report and that's published on the IOCCG website and is also available um, at the International Oceanographic Data and Information Exchange Ocean Best Practices Repository. 20 reports have been published to date and have been used extensively by researchers, organizations, and especially teachers. If you're interested, this is a list of the full bibliography of all the reports published to date. And again, this information is echoed on our website. We currently have two active working groups that would lead to reports. The working group on atmospheric correction over optically complex waters, and they'll be publishing a new IOCCG technical report and that will be the first in a series. And this is currently in its final stages of preparation. The newest working group is on conducting benthic reflectance measurements, where benthic reflectance is the property describing the color of the bottom boundary in aquatic ecosystems. The group had their first meeting in March, 2022 and drafted a ambitious outline for their report, which will cover a wide range of topics regarding benthic reflectance including instrumentation and methods, environmental influences on the measurements, emerging technologies and potential uncertainties. Another of our publications are the IOCCG protocol series, which began as updates to the NASA Ocean Optics protocols published from 2002. All protocols are available on the IOCCG website as well as the Ocean Best Practices repository. Six protocol volumes have been published to date, with the newest one being the Aquatic Primary Productivity Field Protocols that were published in September 2022. And there is the Measurement Protocol on Absorption of CDOM, which is still in draft after community feedback. IOCCG has also established a few semi-permanent task forces and these address issues that require an ongoing capability or expertise and help to facilitate interagency collaboration on an ongoing basis. The Task Force on Remote Sensing of Plastic Marine Litter was formed last year and aims to improve our ability to monitor floating plastic debris from space. They had their second workshop in March 2022 to give updates and feedback on their four core topics of technologies, data sets, interdisciplinary aspects, and algorithm and application. The Task Force on Satellite Sensor Calibration provides a framework for calibration experts from various agencies to meet and exchange ideas, information, and data. They had a virtual meeting in February 2022 to share updates on their calibration efforts um, 
among all of the missions and the census, as well as to share recommendations. A new task force on ocean color system vicarious calibration was accepted by the IOCCG in our recent committee meeting. Ocean color systems vicarious calibration is a fundamental requirement for all ocean color missions, and this is to meet stringent accuracy requirements for radiometric data and downstream bio-optical products. So the task force will help to coordinate infrastructure development and maintenance and to help with collaboration among various agencies. IOCCG has a strong mandate in education and capacity building and has conducted the advanced IOCCG summer lecture series every two years since 2012, with the exception of 2020 because of the pandemic. And the goal of the SLS is to prepare the new generation of ocean color research scientists. Students receive lectures on the fundamentals of ocean optics, bio-optics, and ocean color remote sensing, as well as hands-on practical sessions. The 2022 SLS attracted 145 applicants and 24 students were selected for the two-week course in Villefranche in France from July 18 to 29. We had 11 volunteer lecturers and we thank them so much for their support. The course covered material related to interaction of light and matter, optics of marine particles, ocean scattering, inherent and apparent optical properties, atmospheric correction of satellite ocean color observations, as well as applications such as carbon export, harmful algal blooms, and biogeochemical modeling. All the course material for this and past courses are available on the IOCCG website. In keeping with that strong mandate for capacity building, we recently announced the Trevor Platt Memorial Scholarship for students from developing countries to conduct hands-on research or receive in-depth training as a foreign institution. The, announced, the applications are open from August 8, 2022 to the 11th of November, and we're hoping to award two scholarships this year, with the awards being announced in February of 2023. Going forward, one student per year will be awarded. One of the ways in which the IOCCG brings the ocean color community together is through the International Ocean Color Science Meetings, held almost every other year since 2013. The exception was in 2021. The goal of these meetings is to reinforce the voice of the global ocean color user community and to provide a forum for discussion on key research and technology issues. The breakout workshop at these meetings cover a wide array of topics and often these topics develop into IOCCG working groups or task forces. The next IOCS meeting is being planned for November 2023 in St. Petersburg, Florida, hosted by our U.S.-based agencies, NASA, NOAA, and jointly with the University of South Florida. We are an affiliated program of SCORE and are grateful for the continued support of our training courses, IOCS meetings, and other ocean color activities as well as an avenue for securing funding from our US-based agencies such as NASA, all of which are critical to the implementation of the IOCCG program. For further information or discussion on IOCCG and its activities, feel free to contact either the project office or the chair at any of the avenues listed here. Thank you.